Hey everybody, this is Hadrian. Thanks for watching. Let's play some more of our Eternal Empire series in Total War Attila. So we've got a new army training up over here. It's going to take two more turns to fully complete it. Um, meanwhile, we have this army moving in from the Nakamadea area to Sinope to try and retake it from these rebels. We also have a rebellion happening right now near Ephesus, and we're going to go ahead and take care of that. Just because I don't want to see their ugly faces. Bye bye all right, so the Rebellion in Ephesus has been taken care of. We're going to move him back down. Now let's see what we can do. Uh, some additional zeal would be good, probably. Yeah, it would give some additional melee damage for the commander's unit. Better integrity for the force. For the entire army, that is. And better replenishment as well. Yeah, let's go with those two skills. Right, so public order is improving in this area. How about an Antioch? It's pretty good in Antioch as well. It was this province over here that was struggling a second ago. No, it was this one. This one, this one, this one. Why are you struggling? What's your issue? They don't like their taxes. They don't like their religious differences. So we can accelerate the religious differences issue um, by turning this into an auditorium. So this is going to help us gain more influence as Roman pagans faster. So it could actually, it could make the religious differences a bigger issue first, but then, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade Amida to a level two city. I think we already gave our gift to the assassin. Yes, we did. Commander. So yeah, that should take care of that issue. I could technically retake sign up with this army right now, the army that's in Melatine, and I kind of want to. Or I could wait till this one marches in the next turn. That would be somewhat more... That would be a safer call. The only thing that would make that a problem is if all of a sudden we had someone attack us in the area of our main provinces, you know, while this army was taking care of business. And that would be annoying. Now, nah, I'm going to leave this as is, because if I withdraw this army from Melatine, public order will drop, and that just won't be any fun. Ah! Maximinus, I, I called him Maximus earlier in the series, Maximinus, Boreanus Calvinus, our governor uh, in um, this province, the one that we're hovering over right now, can't see it, but um, Cappadocia has leveled up. So let's go ahead and do another public order bonus, definitely, and reduce corruption a little bit too. You saw our income jump up above 11,000 there, and we'll end the turn. So right now, just our fingers are still crossed every single turn. <laughs> that the sky doesn't fall on us, but it will happen at some point soon. As soon as Attila takes charge of the Huns in particular. All right, the Franks have declared war on the Romans. I keep calling the Western Romans the Romans, just because we're, I guess, kind of the Constantinoplians. <laughs> if you go by capitals, then, then we're not Romans at this point, but um, we will be by the end of the series. Of course we are, Romans. I'm just saying in this weird world where I'm calling the Western Romans the Romans. I'm babbling. Don't listen to me. <laughs> we would be suitably grateful ah, 7,000 for a war against the Catulians. It is a small matter. Okay. I will gladly take that if you're going to give me that much money. Yeah, definitely. For 7,000, I will absolutely take that. Yeah, I really want to wipe these guys out. They're annoying me. And I, I could kill that entire faction right now if I took them out right now. I'm, I'm tempted to. Right, so the Catulians are attacking in this area. So they're going to give me trouble now that I'm at war with them again. But I got 7,000 gold for it. So We have a lot of horde factions just kind of moving around our territory. It's kind of like the Visigoths, but... We're not at war with them yet. When they do decide to declare war, they could give me a lot of trouble. Oh, we had a bunch of guys just complete their terms of office. That's annoying. Uh, okay, let's see. This guy can be master of soldiers. As can... Wait, wasn't it Flavius? Huh. That's not who I thought it would go in that slot, but okay. Alright, so we've got a lot of money. 
I don't know if this army can quite reach. Oh, yes, it can. Awesome. So we're going to march this army on Sidon right now and retake the city. Is that all? Oh, that's perfect. To the settlement. All right. I'm going to go ahead and fight this battle just because I feel like it. It's a little bit more lopsided. But um, this is in our core province. This is a, a significant battle, a significant rebellion. So I figure that makes it worth watching. Plus, this is the this is the group that we almost fought off um, a moment ago in the last episode. So it'll be good to kind of return with a more fully fledged army and take the city back from them. I don't know if it'll still be snowy. Probably not. <laughs> Cavalry are not good at defending a static line. You think? <laughs> When have you ever seen that in a video game or a movie? A line of cavalry in a defensive position, just holding the line rather than charging. That doesn't happen. All right, so now it's dry. Yeah, so it's not snowy anymore. Let's see, are we gonna come in? This is where we were fighting before. Looks like they've set up a barricade. Or they might set up a barricade there. Who knows? All right. All right, we're going to have this guy in the back. Where's our general? general? All right, so our general is a group of Palatina guards, kind of like the the uh, rebels were, in fact. <laughs> that is my least favorite battle cry in Total War Attila, is that one guy going, yay! It just doesn't, it doesn't sound at all uh, intimidating. <laughs> it just takes me out of it every single time. All right, so what are we going to do? I guess we can march the spearmen in. I want to do something that's narrow enough to kind of march through that front line first. So let's kind of go like so. And then we'll spread out once we're in the city. And then we'll have these four troops behind them. And then the general in the back. Meanwhile, these guys, I'm going to have you in a group. group ready and, awaiting orders. and we'll have them ready to charge in, possibly from different directions. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of having the cavalry come in from a different direction. Yeah, I'm going to have the cavalry come in from over here, take out that watchtower, and uh, do some damage from elsewhere. And then we'll have these archers set up to march in and do some damage from a distance. Specifically, I want to see if I can get the archers to come right here and fire on any battle that happens in this corridor. That would be fun. So, let's start the battle. And let's give some orders. Oh, they're actually, like, ready to defend right there. Holy crap, I wasn't expecting that. Well, what we'll have to do, in that case, is kind of march the troops in slowly. By slowly, I mean slowly. Thank you. No, no. All four of you, please. <laughs> Thought I had all four selected, and then it just tried to move one. Alright, we're just gonna have a... an all-out battle, then, for that area. And we'll move our archers in here. We're going to leave our cavalry to kind of hang back until some damage has been done here. The idea being we can kind of lure these forces to get involved in this battle and then bring our cavalry in from the back. I was expecting them to have more forces in the center of town, kind of the way I did. It's See what I'm saying? I mean, this is not the battle chance that it was showing from outside the uh, city. Here's our auxilia. Whoa, 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 General, General, whoa, whoa, slow down, slow down. Why, why are you doing that? Stop for a second. Hold up. I had my general charging. I'm going to let him get behind the other units. But yeah, these are our auxilia. In a turn or two, we're going to have access to the next level of the, um, of the Roman military units per the Imperium Praetorium mod that I'm using. So that'll be really cool to see.
So these, these guys here look pretty cool, but these are core Attila units. These are these guys, the Legio. I remember playing Total War Attila for the first time and just being really sad that there wasn't a unit that actually looked more Roman. Um, of course, at the time, they're, they're, you know, the, the Marian reforms were long since over, you know, so those, those kinds of things just weren't happening. Um, I mean, there was no military uniformity. That's what I mean. Oh, cool, they're turning and running. Yes, please turn and run. So our archers are starting to do some damage. So these auxilia can do stationary testudos, but they can't do marching testudos. So you can see they've got their shields up, but they can't actually do a testudo formation and march into battle like that. All right, the battle's begun. You're going to charge horsemen in right now? That was a dumb move. guys involved. See if our archers can take out some of those forces. Maybe. Don't hit our guys. Please don't hit our guys. Alright. I'm going to have the archers chill out for a bit because our general has now entered the fray. All right, so we just used fear on these units here. So that'll help scare them off. All right, good. So just as I wanted to happen, some of these troops are getting involved here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my cavalry in. turning in our favor. Uh, that's the favorite thing for me. That's my favorite thing to hear in Total War Attila. It always says the battle's turning in our favor when it's already pretty much been in our favor from the beginning. I point it out all the time. I know. I just think it's funny. Hey, you stand, a ch you stand an actual chance at winning. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright, so these guys are getting wiped out over here very, very quickly. They do have a barricade set up there, so I don't know where that guy thinks he's running. He's This is going to be like shooting fish in a barrel for my archers. Alright, good. That tower's come down. Let's see if we can fight off these horsemen here. As far as I can tell, these guys are just mixed up in these, um... Okay, the skirmishers are actually fighting the cavalry. Yeah, they're gonna... How is combat even? That doesn't make any sense. So these cataphracts are gone. Let's bring them, bring the horses back in to fight, finish those guys off. Meanwhile, the archers, oh yeah, you guys are not fire at will anymore. Fire at will, by all means. Kill those guys. This would be fun to watch. Not a single man dropped. I'm telling you, the archers in, in this game sometimes do not perform as well as you would hope. Wow. <laughs> Alright, there's one. They can't go anywhere. They back themselves up against the... Uh... Tell you what, let's do... 
I guess let's do heavy shot because that's gives us a bonus against infantry. But yeah, they backed themselves up against the barricade. All right, well, to finish off this battle, I will have these units back off a bit. Actually, wait. I'll have them all march to the center of town. We'll get our cavalry ready to charge in over here. I think their general is still in the middle of town, so we need to finish them off. It's interesting. I saw his picture um, coming into battle. He was wearing a, a wreath like he was an emperor. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna break that illusion. Rain on his parade, whatever you want to call it. All right, so now they are running off. Tell the archers to chill out. Our cavalry are coming to pay these guys a visit. Oh, you shouldn't have turned around. You really shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, that's where my horses went flying, actually. That's unfortunate. Alright, so those guys are getting torn up. Meanwhile, Rome is marching on Sinope, retaking it. These guys seem pretty happy. See if we can get a better view of what's going on here. Bring the cavalry around, speed up time a bit. I'm gonna guess the general's right in the middle of town. I uh, can't see him. Ah, oh, there he is. We're just going to charge our four Legio units in. Let them take care of business. I guess he's out of range of my fear ability. That's fine. But you guys really are taking a while getting here, aren't you? Need to give him a second to uh, line up then. Now charge in. That's better. Oh. They just threw their. Um, Hyla, but it didn't really do that much. We'll go ahead and charge in the general as well. And then maybe bring the uh, cavalry around here. Oh, good, they're already running. Alright, end battle. Well, that's that. Flavius... Abundatius. I always want to say Abundatus when I see him, but it's Abundatius, kind of like Maximinus instead of Maximus. These Latin names, man, they're throwing me off. All right, so Sinope is now back in our possession, which is awesome. So we're going to occupy it. Pontus no longer exist. We will have a rebellion again in the next turn, which is unfortunate. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade Nicomedia. And also, let's build a governor's house in Ankyra, 
just to help public order in this area. We're also going to go ahead and build a Silk Road trade house. And I don't know if I've given money yet to the Sassanids in this turn, but I'm going to do that too. A most humble audience for just a small gift. If, I, if, that was a, if that was my second gift to the Sassanids this turn, then whatever. I just want to make sure my bases are covered. All right, we are about to have a rebellion in this area on account of what exactly? Oh, there's a food shortage. Holy crap. Well, hang on. In that case, let's turn off taxes in this area. Um, at least that way we won't have a rebellion in the next turn and things can kind of turn around and then we'll turn taxes back on. It's going to drastically reduce our income for a bit, which is unfortunate, but we're just going to have to make do. Let's see. Oh, we can research a new technology here, so let's do that. Let's see. Better battle movement speed would be good, but then again, so would... Let's see. Extra wealth from commercial buildings would also be good. Better recruitment costs from male infantry units. Yeah, I'm actually going to go with that because we're going to be building a lot of armies. So that's probably going to bring me the most savings in the next couple of turns. All right, and now we just need to build up this area a little bit. Let's see. I can do a... Hmm. What's going to do is public order, though. Lead mines. What else can I do in this area to improve public order? I guess I could do a fountain. Um, I don't know. That's not. It's not ideal. But it would give me additional wealth. I guess I'll do a fountain in that area. And let's have a look down here. Ephesus definitely needs to go ahead and be upgraded. That's going to be the rest of my money for that turn. But that's fine. And we have this general level up, which is great. So let's give his force better replenishment. And better recruitment costs. Why not? And there we go. So we're in decent shape here. Um, public orders not improving as quickly as it was in Macedonia, but that's fine. Um, it's still climbing and people are happy and they have, um, so it's giving them additional growth. Speaking of additional growth, because we're still powerful, our growth is being restricted. We also have lower public order everywhere. It's very frustrating. You need to find a way to actually reduce the balance of power a little bit. Maybe give up some control. Would that be a way to do it? Let's see. Well, all those things cost influence. We, we could embezzle funds. That would be a way to get uh, additional money. We could do that. I don't want a divorce. Definitely not. Not having any loyalty problems at the moment. See, where people are going to be most loyal is when power is balanced. So... Tell you what, let's have the the Emperor embezzle funds. And let's have Flavius do the same thing. It'll cost us influence, but we want that. We want this to drop right now. So we're actually going to sacrifice that a little bit, make some additional money, and uh, should make things more interesting in the next episode. Speaking of that, I will go ahead and cut this one here. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I upload new episodes in Eternal Empire every day at noon Eastern Daylight Time, which is GMT minus four for those of you not in the States. And if it's not Eternal Empire when you're watching this, it'll be something else in kind of a grand strategy or historical strategy type of vibe. Again, thank you very much for watching. Comments are always welcome, and I'll see you next video.